hi and welcome back again for today's tutorial i trust you guys are doing wonderfully well my name is the needle woman and here is my channel i want to sincerely appreciate you guys for your views thank you for your comments thank you for subscribing and thank you for the time you put into my videos and if you are here to subscribe i implore you please hit on that red icon and also touch the bell so that once i upload you get notifications so today we shall be making a simple dress with two layer circle sleeve so let's just get right to it i already spread out my fabric i folded it into four leaving my zip allowance of one and a half inches you can choose to leave yours at two but i want to leave mine at one and a half inches having done that i ruled a line i'm going to be calling this one the line one this first one this is going to form the base of our measurement all right and then the second line is going to be our bust line. I hope you can see that. This second line is going to be our bust line. All right. And the third line is going to be our waist line. The fourth line is going to be our hip line. And then the last but not the least is the length of our dress. All right. So I will now go ahead to explain it. I placed my tape on top of my baseline measurement, which is the line one. I measured nine and a half inches. The nine inch inches is my armhole measurement, and that is my bust line. So the half inch I added here, I'll be taking it from up as my seam allowance. All right, so that is how I got this bust line. So the second line, which is my waistline, is 17 inches. Still placing my tape on top of my baseline measurement. I dragged it down to 17 and a half inches. Remember, I added inch one half inch for my bust line here. So I'm going to still drag the half inch to my waistline. That is why I ruled my line at 17 and a half. All right, so this is our waistline. Still leaving my tape like that. I still dragged it out, dragged it down to 26 and a half inches inches that is nine or ten inches from my waistline will give you your hip line measurements that is nine or ten inches from your waistline will give you your hip line measurement depending on how tall or how short you are and also sometimes it depends on your body figure anyway all right so dragging my tape all the way down i measured 26 and half inches the half inch i added is for the half inch i will still take from my shoulder measurement i hope you guys are following all right for the length of my dress it is 48 and as you can see here this is 48 so i marked exactly 48 leaving two inches extra for my seam allowance or for my fold all right so now we are going to be placing our body measurement the shoulder measurement i'll be working with is 17 divided into two will give us eight and half all right having determined my boss line which is here remember i said my armhole measurement is nine i added half an inch which i'll take from here so i'll just cover out my armhole all right having done that my bust measurement i'm working with is 42 divided into four will give us ten and half all right which is here and I'll be adding two inches for seam allowance. That will leave us here. All right. For my waist measurement, it is 36 divided into four will give us nine, which is here. I'll be adding two inches extra for seam allowance. I can choose to still add one more inch for ease because it's not going to be a fitted dress. All right, so it's optional. If you want, you can still add one more inch for ease or you can take it from your two inches seam allowance. I hope that is very clear. All right, for my hip measurement, it is 47 divided into four will give us 11 and 11.75. All right, which is somewhere here. And this is my two inches extra for seam allowance. All right. So I'll just go ahead now to connect the markings. For this waistline, I shall be going by this, my one extra one inch I added for ease. I hope it's very clear. On this hip line, I'll just drag 
the measurement down i didn't remove anything so i can as well just open it up from here all the way up and then start cutting from here so i'll just drag it down i hope it is very very clear all right for my neckline i shall be using three and a half inches and then for the depth of my neckline for the front line i shall be using five inches and for the back line i shall be using two and a half inches i hope it is very clear having done that now i will just proceed to cut it out having cut it out i will also remove my one inch shoulder slope here or better still let me work with just half an inch so i removed half an inch shoulder slope i will also cut it out <coughs> so this is what we have after i cut it out all right i'll neatly fold it and then cut the circle sleeve all right so here we go for the sleeve first i'm going to fold and then i'm going to also fold for the second time making it into four all right having done that i will measure out my circumference here remember our armhole is nine if you add the front and the back it will give us 18 so to determine this circumference here we are going to divide 18 by 6.28 and it will leave us at 2.86 approximately 2.9 all right so i'm going to measure 2.9 here i already made a tutorial on how to calculate the radius of a circle all right so this is our 2.9 nine okay all right so the length of my circle sleeve is nine inches so i'll just mark out my nine inches placing my tape on this circumference here on this radius here i'll mark out nine inches Having done that, I will proceed to now cut it out, both this first one and this second one. Alright, so here is what we have. You can see it, the long one and the short one. Remember I said it's going to be two layers. So I'll just go ahead, use my bias and turn these rough edges of both sleeves. Alright. So having knitted the neckline, as you can see, I will just proceed to put the dart this way. You measure your shoulder to bust measurement, which is 12 inches. I added half an inch extra for the, for the seam allowance I'll be taking from up here. I also measured shoulder to half length measurement, which is 17 inches. I also added half an inch extra for this allowance at the shoulder here okay so now i will measure my boss point to boss point measurement which is eight inches i will be adding quarter of an inch i don't want to use half i'll just use quarter but if you like you can use half but i want to use quarter of an inch for this dart so i will measure four and quarter okay so having done that at the upper part of the dart i will go up by seven three and a half inches sorry placing my tape okay let me do it this way placing my tape at my waistline i'll go up by three and a half inches which is here and then at the down part i'll go down by four and a half inches so at the end of the day what you have as my dart is eight inches okay so that four and quarter i measured here i'll just take it down also to this my dart point here i'll also take it up to my dart point also 
I will connect it with a line. Okay, so now this quarter I went in towards this side by I will also go in towards the other side. I hope you understand it. If it is not clear to you, okay, let's use half. I will go in by half an inch so that you understand better. And then at the other side, half an inch. So this is the one we are working with now. Half an inch. Okay, having done that, I will just connect from this point, this dart at the lower part to this my half an inch. I will also connect to my the upper part of my dart. This is what I mean. I will do the same thing on the other side. I hope it is very, very clear. So this now is our dart. Just for clarity, but me, I will be using quarter of an inch. I don't want to use half an inch. Okay. So basically for our back panel, the same way we did it at the front is the same way it is done at the back. The only difference is that the length of the dart is now longer at the back. The back dart, having taken three and a half inches here for the front dart, for the back I will take four inches up and then five inches down to give us nine inches length of dart at the back. All right. So having inserted the dart, the next thing should be to put the zip at the back i'm going to go down from my neckline at the back region to 22 inches and then i'll remove my two inches seam allowance so i'll start to make my stitch from here all the way down to the hemline from here down so that when i'm through i will now open it up and insert my zip here so from here, from the neckline here, all the way down is for my zip. Then from here, I will close it up. So with the zip inserted, I will now take a body measurement. The bust measurement I'm working with is 42 divided into 2 will give us 21. But I shall be adding 1 1 inch on each side of the fabric for ease. So instead of... 21 i'll just measure 22 on each side i hope it's very very clear and my waist measurement is 36 divided into 2 will give us 18 plus my 1 1 inch extra which is 19 The one inch is for ease because this is not a very fitted dress okay for my hip measurement it is 47 divided into two will give us 23 and a half plus a one one inch which will leave us at 24 and half four and half with that done i will just join the body measurement So after this now, I will just go to my machine and make my stitch on top of these lines. I hope it is very clear. After joining them at the sides, the next thing should just be to fold the hemline. And you can see my notch here. So I will just fold it inwards with the notch as a guide. And then I'll make my stitch because I want this part, this down part, this hemline to be, to be a little bit bold. You can still fold it in very well and leave it slimmer like this, but I want it a little bit bold. That is why I will make it like this. Okay, now I have finished the hemline. As you can see, the dress is almost ready. What is left is just to insert a circle sleeve the notch there grabbing it i will make sure it corresponds 
with this armhole stitch here where i joined the two fabrics together at the armhole i'll make sure it is slapping and then i'll just make my sewing all around because we did the measurement correctly it is supposed to fit i hope you can see it it should fit properly i hope you can see it so it's very very easy i will just make my stitch round it and that will be all okay so here is our finished product i hope you can see it i also made a small belt for it i hope you can see how beautiful it is I urge you to please try this at home it is very very simple to make thank you guys so very much for watching till the end i appreciate you guys a lot thank you for your comments and if you are new to my channel please hit on that red icon and subscribe and also touch the bell so that once i upload you get notifications also don't forget to leave your comments if my tutorial has been helpful to you please give us a thumbs up also please help us to share our videos till we get to meet again in our next class don't forget that i love you from the bottom of my heart and please take very very good care of yourself and also believe in yourself bye